the prison of masking, lockdowns, school lockdowns, vaccine passports. And notice in the leaked messages, he says, quote, Matt Hancock, we frighten the pants off everyone with the new strain. But the complication with that Brexit is that is taking the top line. So he says, exchanging messages with this guy, Damon Poole. Yep, that's what will get the proper behavior change, he notes. Hancock responds, when do we deploy the new variant? <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny. I mean, Joe and I both, because it's just so, I, again, I'm not, please, please don't, don't take this as some kind of silly victory lap. I promise that's the most boring show ever. Hey, look at how special, there's nothing I said about this. At the time that a lot of smart, learned, conservative thinking, talking heads didn't say to, it wasn't just me. I just don't ever want you to feel here like you ever wasted your time. And I desperately want you to understand the why of why they do things. The Rahm Emanuel never let a crisis go to waste theory is the, 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 the if there was any essence, core, kind of pillar they built the house of liberalism on, fear is the one emotion they need the most. I would argue envy second. And I'll get to that later. Oh, those rich people are taking, you better get money from them. Those evil rich people, they're not paying their fair share. Really? Did the numbers add up? No, I'll get to that later too. Envy is important, but fear is number one. Now, here's the same guy within days of this text exchange, this UK health minister. We need to frighten the pants off everyone. When do we deploy the new variant? Get people to give up their civil liberties. Walk into the prison. Just days afterwards, here's the same guy. Uh, hat tip the Guardian for this video. UK Health Minister Matt Hancock. I want you to watch him talking about how scary this all is. You know, you got to give up your civil liberties, folks. Wink at a nod, right? Check this out. Who said uh, recently that the virus was under control? Yes. Is it? No, uh, it, it's not. The new variant is out of control and we need to bring it under control. And this news about the new variant has been a, uh, an incredibly difficult end to, frankly, an awful year. And it's important for everybody to act, uh, essentially act like they might have the virus. And that's the way that we can control it together. The cases in the tier four areas as you've seen from the graphs that have been presented, have absolutely rocketed in the last few uh, a few days, last two weeks or so, and so it, we are we've got a we've got a long way to go to sort this. Essentially, we've got to get that vaccine rolled out to keep people safe. To prepare ourselves, I mean, is it likely that if you're in a tier four area now, you're going to be in a tier four area until that vaccine is rolled out? Well, I think that given how much faster this new variant spreads. It is going to be very difficult to keep it under control until we have the vaccine rolled out. Joe, new variant's out of control, buddy. It's Whoa. out of control. <laughs> got to get it, you. Got to get yeah. that vaccine, and then you got to roll out that vaccine. And not only that, <laughs> do you hear what he said? Did you guys catch it? What did he say to act like? He said, "Make oh. sure you." He said, "Oh, and everyone should act like they already have it. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, be terrified of a virus." With a fatality rate that's significant enough, but significant enough to shut down society, leading to massive negative externalities later. Ladies and gentlemen, this was never Ebola. It was never Hanta. Okay? I mean, 